First of all, congratulations on the film. It's Thank wonderful. You. Um, do me a favor, as you and John were talking about PL, and then describe for me the Pamela you wanted us as the audience to get to know in this mm. film. Well, she was in fact 66 when she came over to do this stuff. Wow. And she was quite dumpy and quite <laughs> sort of elderly looking. And um, there are pictures of her kind of folded up in her chair, just. Don DeGrady, one of the people she was working with, did sketches of her. And you can hear in her voice the beginning of the cracking of the vocal cords that she was, you know, on the she was moving towards 70 and she had been quite ill all her life. But I thought, okay, so I said to John Lee, we can absolutely do that. We can do prosthetics, we can do padding, we can, we can have an old elderly woman coming and we can do that and it would be very funny. But I thought, there's other things about this woman I want to cherry pick because she divided the female life into nymph, that's the first section, the middle section is mother and the last section is crone. Mm. And she liked the crone <laughs> bit best because she said that was the wise bit, that was when you'd let go of all that other stuff, sex, motherhood, etc. But I said, can't we keep a bit of the nymph, a bit of the mother in, put that in so that there is an elegance to her. She was very vain, she liked clothes, she liked good jewellery, she was a remarkable mixture of all sorts of things. And I thought it would be nice to make it clear that she had had an erotic life and a love life and a sex life that for some reason or other just got less and less and less as she mm -hmm. got older. And then you, and you understand why. So you're looking at someone who could have had that and didn't. Um, at that time, and I think that that's what we really wanted to get that there were there were doors that were still could have opened um, to things that we might consider to be desirable. Mm. One of my favorite elements of the film was not only your character but also Colin's character was. Yeah. We are introduced in, in many ways to two different Pamela's we see on the screen. There is the one, we just want to reach up into the screen and choke her. You know, the irritating and so strong-willed and whatever. But there's also this very, very polar different side of someone very soft, very broken at the same time. Sometimes actors and performers can try to do those characters and they just seem too split. They seem like two completely different people. You found a way to bring that all into one cohesive character. What was the key for you to making Pamela that so distinct and yet so the one individual entity? The script, mm. because there's two moments in particular that Kelly's written, and there's two speeches in particular that give you a moment where there's no cuts, the camera's on you the entire time, uh, and it's when she says, how can you make him so unspeakably awful? Please don't, I can't bear it. Mm. And she goes from anger to utter vulnerability on in, a, in a, oh, a split second. And then when she goes to Disney, furious, sword and shield in hand, just, I will not have this. And he says, it's the, just a sequence. He's trying to modify her. And she then suddenly for a moment says, so they are real penguins. And suddenly everything drops away. And there's this very, very vulnerable woman thinking, oh, I've made a terrible mistake, I'm wrong. and. If you've got that, if you've got moments that aren't cut into, and you can see two things at once because you go from one to the other, you flip-flop, then that's, that's the key. And that's the script and it's editing. Oh, well, listen, you pulled it off so well. Congratulations on the movie. We can't wait to have it on AMC screens. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.